Glad to meet you guys again. I'm Oscar, advisor of Vichari. Today, I'm going to talk about the difference of crypto mainnet and testnet. During the 2017 ICO phase, people fear of missing out and invested in projects having only white papers. Some of these projects boosted high outputs and performance results. However, many of them showcased such claims in testnet environments only. They never progressed to the mainnet stage. It is very important to understand the difference between a testnet and a mainnet. So, what is a testnet? A testnet is an experimental network where developers can test, create, or modify functionalities and monitor the blockchain network performance. They fix bugs and other kind of network failure. The reuse test file ensures the accurate comparison between test runs. This sandbox environment enables the developer to take risks, experiment, and find out the best possible model, a stable version, to be implemented in the mainnet. All this happened at scale in a control manner. Testnets ensure that mainnet deployments happen faster. Some blockchain, for example, the Ethereum, provides standard testing methodologies, tools, and certification to accurately test complex network at scale. It gives user confidence and is an integral part of the onboarding process, leading to adoption. Crypto testnets uses cases, development in a safe environment. A testnet and box provide a secure environment for testing various development ideas. Minimal disruption. Blockchain teams are aggressively trying to resolve problems around scalability, security, and decentralization. Numerous tests are being performed and prototypes are run on the cryptocurrency testnet without the disrupting on the mainnet. So, DAPP, Decentralized Application Contability Test, any DAPP which want to onboard needs to go through a phase of testing and fixes. New patches, fixtures are first tested in the testnet. Some examples of these tests include security tests, load testing, blockchain migration, integration tests, disaster recovery. Okay, next, what is a mainnet? A mainnet is the final, most stable, and fully functional version of the blockchain. Mainnets enable DAPPs to be launched for public use. They see an increased number of validators who are incentivized by tokens with real value. All transactions are live on the mainnet. Projects with a mainnet are always considered more mature. It gives users the confidence that the project has put a lot of effort and resources into the blockchain. This is because the mainnet has gone through rigorous evaluation process before the, they launching their mainnet. Crypto mainnet uses cases, trust. The mainnet acts as a proof that the blockchain is functional. It gives an open invitation to the public to participate in the network. Use cases. Before launching a mainnet, a blockchain already partners with application creators. Hence, some of those applications launch along with the mainnet launch. This provide use cases for further DAPPs to onboard the blockchain. Credibility. Most blockchains make the underlying codes public after the crypto mainnet launch. Such open source projects become more credible to users. New opportunities. The permission left public network enables discovery. Additional features. Additional mainnet features like security properties, for example, anti-spam capabilities can be available. So, what is the difference between a testnet and a mainnet? First one, purpose. The testnet is a testing sandbox, whereas the mainnet is the release functional blockchain. Second, cost of operation. In the testnet, the tokens do not hold any value. The cost of operation in the mainnet is higher. Every operation performed on the blockchain requires a fee in the form of token that holds a certain value. Examples of this operation include transfer value, stacking rewards, or deployment of smart contract. The third one, network ID. The network ID helps developers identify the network. Mainnet and testnet have different network IDs. For example, the Ethereum mainnet network ID is 1, while the other most commonly used testnet have network ID of 3, 4, 42 for Robston, Ringaby, and Coven respectively. And the fourth one, Genesis block. A Genesis block is the first block of every blockchain. Both testnet and mainnet have their own independent Genesis blocks. The last one, Nodes. A testnet has fewer nodes than a mainnet. Oh, one more. Transaction frequency. Transaction frequency is low for a testnet. For the mainnet, it will be higher.